So your damage or heal output in the arenas is high, oftentimes you do more output than your opponents, but somehow still struggle to win games consistently and climbing up the PvP ladders? Then you may need these 10 tips to improve your gameplay. But first, let me ask you a question. Are you able to spot the number one major mistake done in this situation that will finally lead up to a guaranteed lose? Watch it carefully. Don't worry, we will come to the correct answer further into the video and at the end I will share a minor but super important bonus tip with you that holds a lot of railway players back. The tips in this video are structured from very basic to pro, so it is getting more and more nuanced as time goes on. But without further ado, let's start with the first and most basic tip. Knowledge is power. Get as much knowledge about the game as you can get. This includes not only knowing the classes and their abilities, but also the different arena comps, their setups and how to counter them. RMP, Turbo, Thark, Jungle, Shadow Cleave, etc. for example. Sources like Dreamers, Icy Wains, YouTube videos like this one or other guides can help you in this process. But also play alts. Start with the basics and from there go in depth more and more. The next tip is kind of basic but also an advanced one and very crucial when it comes to arena. Work on your positioning. Play also other specs to get a better understanding of this concept. Like when you like to play melee, just swap to a range DPS or even a healer. Or if you only heal, play some melee. If you don't know how to work on this one, try out the following. Um, the next arena games that you enter, be hyper focused about your surroundings and adjust to them in a way that makes it good for your mate to assist you and harder for the enemies to reach you and your mate. Try to force your enemies to open themselves up. Don't worry too much about optimal DPS or perfect gameplay while you do so. Just concentrate on the positioning aspect in upcoming games to really understand and grasp the importance of it. Even if it does not sound important to a lot of arena beginners, you can force kills just by good positioning and baiting. Or the enemies can do this with you of course. The next tip is for the people who want to improve faster than the other ones who are not doing this. Record yourself and analyze every game and ask yourself also what was good, what could you do better, always with a critical eye on yourself. Don't get me wrong here, I don't mean that you'll just look at your details damage done and try to make maximize it. That is very basic and goes into the macro play and has only to do with your ability to connect and how well you automated your damage rotation. Important of course, but easy to work on by just smashing the dummies and dueling other people. I want you to analyze the micro gameplay and your decisions in that game, for example your CD usage and traits, your CC positionings and kitings. Oftentimes we are tunnel visioned in fast paced games and do some bad decisions here and there that we are even not aware of in that moment and let alone remember afterwards. The recordings and analyzes later on can be even slowed down to spot these mistakes. I know, it can be boring, but that's the way to improve your gameplay instead of doing the same mistakes over and over again. Spot your own mistakes and work on them step by step. But now, do you remember the clip from the beginning where I asked you to spot a major mistake? My next tip will be the answer to this question. Don't waste your trinket. Always try to combine it with a strong counterplay. Also there is something, let's call it a 2 second rule. Communicate with your mates at least who will trinket first and will def the go on your team to not end up in a position where both of you use your trinkets simultaneously and overlap your big defensives. And the 2 second rule means that you're waiting for at least 1 to 2 seconds before you press your trinket. This is to just make sure that it is very needed in that moment and to not waste it. A lot of people are just using it like offensively without many thoughts into it very early into the game and they are very open after that for the enemies so that's why you should use your trinket very very consciously this tip also goes into the next tip a bit because it is a part of your cooldown trading of course 
A Tink of WoW Arena is a fast-paced card game in which your big defensive and offensive abilities are the kings, queens and aces, which should only be used to dominate the pace of the game or to counter your opponent's play accordingly. That just means when your opponent lays a king card, for example the warrior goes in with the avatar or the pali with his wings, then you have to counter this play with multiple minor cards like this arm or root for example, or a strong king card from your deck that means like dome darkness karma cocoon etc how do you work on this one this question brings me to my next tip just play a lot of arena games if you think that a thousand games in a WoW arena season is a lot, then you are wrong. Double, triple or quadruple that number, then we are starting to talk. The best theoretical preparation and knowledge can't beat the real practicing sessions. Play these games focused and ask yourself after every game what you can optimize, where can I trade my cards aka cooldowns better, what positioning mistakes have I made etc. Also to mention a little side note here, <laughs> don't be toxic with your partners, enemies or whatever, but blame yourself and ask yourself, what could I do better there? So let's go on with the next tip, optimize your keybinds, macros and hardware. Everybody knows that you should not click abilities or backpedal, but do you have optimized every keybind to a point where it feels all natural and smooth to you? Also your macros should be on point and there are some standard ones for every class that you should use to optimize your efficiency. Think about this point deeply again and bring your keybindings and gameplay to another level. Let's also talk about your hardware. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars for a gaming mouse or a keyboard, but get yourself some decent ones that are fitting your game style. I personally use a mouse with 12 side buttons for example, because I'm not a fan of modifiers. You can go with 9 or less or <laughs> if it is more fitting to you, but try to get at least 2 side buttons for your thumb and make sure you bind your mouse wheel fitting to your class. If you want to check out my equipment at this point, especially the mouse, <laughs> there is a link to all of that in the video description below. My next tip also plays into the optimization of your keybinds. It is about the automatization of your rotations. Not only as DPS but also as a healer. You know what that means. It's time to smash some dummies. Ask yourself these two questions while doing so. Is my rotation correct and delivers an optimal output? Are the key keybinded buttons easy and fast reachable? Or does it feel somehow off to press important spell XYZ? The better you optimized this for yourself, the less time you need in fast paced environments to think of this basic stuff and the more time you can invest into thinking about the nuances in an arena game and anticipate two enemy actions. This brings us to my next tip. Work on your timings. Not only on your CC chain timings but also to see weak points and kill windows and opportunities from your team, but also the enemy team of course. Time your CCs especially accordingly to the ones of your mates. This one is huge and can decide the game. Low rated players are putting in their CCs more or less randomly or even into the half duration of a CC from their mates. When you see a blind for example, optimally you get your next CC in at 0.1 seconds before he's coming out of it for the next fear, trap, cyclone etc. Or when you're standing in a dorm already, wait for your disarm for after the dorm instead of disarming the enemy warrior or whatever at half duration of the dorm, you know, your healer will thank you afterwards for that. Think of your CCs as valuable cards that should be lined up perfectly to deliver the value fully. If you waste seconds from CC chains, it doesn't matter if it's from you or your mates, then you are devaluing you or their cards heavily. And don't forget, Arena is a team game, not a solo show. If you mess up something for your mate, it will bite you later in that game in some way. Every second of a well-timed CC or burst counter can translate into getting advantaged in a game or falling back against the enemy's team in the long run. Keep that in mind. But now let's move on to tip number 10. Pressure is king. Don't play too reserved. That means with a defensive mindset. Make your setups and goals as fast as possible, try to get as much CDs as possible from the enemies from the get-go and your team will be setting the pace for that game. Also working on your uptime and connect ability, especially as melee. For example, a warrior outside of his burst windows. Combine this with good overall awareness and timings and you will be unstoppable in arenas. Like promised at the beginning of this video, I want to share an extra tip with you, which you can do right now to improve your gameplay passively. Subscribe to my channel.
uh, jokes aside, here's my last bonus tip. Make sure to have a clean UI and optimize it specifically for your needs. Use as much as needed add-ons, but at least as possible. Think about this one deeply. Go into it once in depthly at the start of every expansion and benefit for the rest of the time to avoid messy UIs like this. Which will not only distract you heavily from your gameplay, but also slow down even your computer performance causing your system to lag. If you need some extra tips on add-ons, check out this video that I recorded more or less spontaneously during my livestream. See you there.